and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I'd like you to join me on a little painting adventure. I decided to do a painting this week and it was inspired by Cinnamon Cooney and her cheerful chickadees. Click the i card to see what her cheerful chickadees looks like and learn all about how to do it. Come on with me, listen to me chatter on about what I did. All right, so here we go. I was putting in the, the background the night before I did the actual painting. That way I would make sure that it was really, really dry and ready to go when I painted in the branch and painted in the chickadees because I didn't want yeah, I didn't want to have the background rub off if I had to do any repairs because I wasn't too confident in my ability to get these chickadees done right the first time. So when painting in the branch, I, you know, basically followed Cinnamon's tutorial. I painted in the dark, I went in and took some light and giving just worked it giving it shape this is actually pretty close to one of the branches on my apple tree in my side yard I went outside and I kind of looked at it and tried to figure out well what does the bark look like and this was before the bark quest that cinnamon did so this was all you know I, I had to do research I had to figure it out and so I just continued working it and I did put some little shadows in along the top edge there for the uh, chickadees to sit on. And if you look really closely, you can see some little chalk outlines. I used a charcoal, white charcoal pencil and just sort of gave myself rough shapes of where I wanted to put the chickadees just because I like to have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. I do paint in leaves. I keep working this. I, I kept working this. This whole video probably was about three hours. And that's why it is completely a speed video. There will not be a long play video of this because I am not a painting teacher. I love painting, but I feel much more confident in teaching the colored pencil and doing the doodle gems and the pen and ink doodling and things like that. The painting is just something that I love to do. So now the leaves went in pretty darn quick. I think that when I was speeding the video up, I kind of cut out a few things. One was those leaves at the very far right corner or very far right side because my arm just kept getting in the way and you had just a tiny little view of the screen and then all of my shoulder. And my shoulder does get in the way here a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I had the video set up so that the camera was actually sitting beside me. And that was odd because I was sitting over to the left of the canvas and working my way across. It probably was not the most ergonomic and I probably would have my my paintbrush slapped from my hand and told to sit up straight and move over because I was kind of bending funny. All right, here's where painting the background the night before worked really well to my benefit. I ended up putting this bird in way too big. So because the paint hadn't dried and cured on top, I was able to take a wet paintbrush and wet it down and just erase it because the background wasn't going to come off. And instead of one bird there, I ended up with two. That was, that was a bonus. And now I'm going to start doing the detailing on the little chickadees. And it was so much fun. The chickadees, I drew these from sketches that I had made from photographs that my husband had taken of chickadees in our front yard. We have wild chickadees in our yard and he, my husband is an excellent photographer. 
So I just went through his Flickr account and found all kinds of chickadees and knew that I had full access to them. So I did. And now these are all chestnut back chickadees. They're a chickadee that has more brown in them and kind of a, red, a ruddy, reddy co colored brown. And it's, it's a little bit different than your regular chickadee but they're just as cheeky and just as cute and they had just a little bit more something something going on for me i made one fluffy one in the middle my homage to cinnamon and then the rest of them are a little less fluffy i think that all of the other ones around the fluffy one were telling him off because he was making too much noise or something because he's going to have his mouth open wide just like he's chirping along doing his chickadee dee dee song and the other ones were telling him off and uh, he was getting his feathers ruffled which is fun i i really enjoyed that and i also enjoyed figuring out the the different personalities and angles and just just the little details the tiny little details this is coming together really quick and we're coming closer and closer to the end i'm starting to put the beaks in and then i'll put the eyes and then i'll put their little feet and legs i particularly love the one that is over on the left hand side underneath the branch that's underneath my arm right now that is just sort of floating there and he's going to be hanging upside down on that leaf branch and looking at that one just makes me smile just makes me bubble with joy good because he turned out the way i had drawn it now if you like this video please click like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber i don't do painting videos all the time it's one every couple months but I do my Doodle Gem series and I do other crafts, especially as the Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and holidays are all starting to bubble up around us. There's probably going to be some more uh, crafty, arty type of things. And if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comment section. I really, really read every single suggestion, every comment, and I, I think I'm at 100% right now in replying to comments. And I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me, going on this little painting adventure. We're just about done, gonna do their little feet here, get them attached, get some legs on some of these that are lifted up from the branch a little bit. and. As always, I want to ask you to please go out and do something creative. Take care. Oh, and make sure you click the i card and go check out Cinnamon's video. That would really, really be a great thing to do. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.